Have you ever wanted to translate your document or even your PowerPoint or email into another language? I'm going to show you how you can do that with the Microsoft Office Translate feature. It's actually a feature that you can use across a lot of the different Microsoft Office suite tools. And it's nice because you don't have to toggle back and forth to the internet or somewhere else where you may have been using a translator. So here I have pulled up a sample employee handbook verbiage and I want to translate this. Let's say I want to translate it into Spanish. So I'm in Microsoft Word and I just come up here into review and then there's a language section here and you drop down translate and you can translate the entire document. If you select to translate the entire document, it will translate the whole thing and open up a brand new document in a new window. Or if you have, if you just want to translate a section, you can click uh, translate section and it will open up a pane here on the right hand side and you can select the text that you want to translate into another language. So we'll select this first paragraph here and we see that it comes over here and if for some reason that it didn't automatically pick up that that was in English, you could drop down here and select the language that the text was in. And then down here, it's translating it into Spanish. I can drop down here and select any other language that I want to translate to. Um, I'm going to leave it with Spanish and it gives me a preview window here that I can um, review and edit. And if it looks good, I'm just going to click insert and you'll notice that it kept the formatting that I had and it inserted that paragraph as Spanish. Now my uh, uh, warning here would be that if you don't speak the language that you're translating to as a native language, then you're definitely going to want to have your document reviewed before you publish it or send it to anyone. You want to have it reviewed by someone who speaks that language and can read and write that language. You want to make sure there aren't any grammar or syntax issues with the translation. Um, I'm going to show you how you can also do this in PowerPoint. So here I have a PowerPoint template. Again, I can make a selection. Uh, it's under here, up here at the under review, the translate feature, and I have the translator pane open. And it is going to translate that text into Spanish. It looks good, so I click insert and it, and it translates. One key thing that I would mention is the way, if you were to select the entire text here and then insert, notice that it kind of messed up the formatting of your slides, right? So I'm going to undo that. And what I would do to keep the formatting, um, I would simply select just that one uh, word uh, or a section that was formatted a certain way and uh, do it that way. It takes a little bit longer, but in the long run, it keeps your formatting so you won't have to go back and reformat everything. This is just an example of using Microsoft Word and PowerPoint, but again, you can use Excel. It's available in also the review tab in Microsoft Outlook if you use that for email as well. So uh, be sure to check it out. And uh, if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and a like. You can check out my website at SharonSmithHR.com. Subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. If you have any tips or tricks on translating, be sure to leave those in the comments below for the other viewers. They can uh, learn from you as well. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.